Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Boat Crew. We have taken Asamane, we have Tulagi, we have Avuvu or Avu Avu, however we do not have Lunga. Lunga has been claimed by the enemy, um, it is not all good news. Unfortunately, this outpost, even as I defended it time and time again, fell. So now we're going to take the fight back to the enemy and launch a raid on Malapa. Now it's very heavily defended, you can see it has a 37 score, so we're going to need some firepower for that. As I've done a bit of gathering of additional free budget, so free resource points off screen, I now have quite the amount ready. I have been upgrading my weapons, and if I want to do a base raid, I'm going to need a bigger gun. I have both the M2s, so that's the 50 cal, but I want to try something I have not tried yet. I want to try the Bofors, the 40 millimeter Bofors. It probably has decent range, although that's one of the stats that isn't on there. Um, it has a lot of impact damage. Previously, I had the Orlikan, 20 millimeter. This thing has a splash damage of 32 and an impact damage of 48. This thing is 100 flat. You don't even have to hit the target. It is just deadly. It is, however, probably not going to turn that quick. And it is also quite likely not exactly the best weapon to use against smaller targets. So what I can do to give myself at least some option there is switch to a 1919, which would put me over budget, but then ditch the torpedoes. If I'm going to do a base raid, I don't strictly need the torpedoes. Now, sadly, that means I can only get one of the 1919s. The other one is too expensive. Unfortunate, but so be it. I'm going to relocate some of my ammunition towards the back, considering that that's where the main gun now is. So front deck right doesn't really need ammo. I can get uh, the middle deck center to have an additional ammo storage right next to the gun and maybe even make that the biggest compartment and then drop the one on the middle deck right. So we're going to have uh, a bunch of ammo right there next to the main firepower and then the other one, well, it's there. <laughs> They're just going to have to walk back and forth. So that's the main armament, the 1990 machine gun in the port uh, compartment and then the Bofors. I want to see how much damage this thing can do. I don't really think I'll be able to take down something the size of a tanker with it, um, but that's not my objective. So even if I come across something like that, it is not what I strictly want to attack. We are going to do a raid on Malapa. It is broad daylight, so it is definitely going to be something that they might see coming. But let's see how well this Orlikan does against some of these base defenses. One thing you have to keep in mind, it seems, as you're using the Urlikan, it's a two-man gun. So I now have to relocate one of my, in this case, medics, to take on the role of a gunner. And this means we've got one gunner over here, mounting the machine gun, and we have two guys manning the Urlikan. I know that the Urlikan, I think, used to be like an NTR gun, um, but it is also entirely possible to use this thing against ground targets. Which, by the way, they seem to have no shortage of. I think we're going to have to not immediately sail right into the thick of it. We're going to take the fight to the enemy bit by bit. Although it is about to go hot, we have been detected. Let's see. Yep, there come the light battery shells. Loads of them as well. Oh, that does sound good. Holy moly! It's five clips, or five shots per clip. But good lord, is that thing deadly. Of course, the trade-off, you don't get a whole lot of ammo. This, this thing probably eats ammunition for breakfast. Well, and lunch, because I'm already down... I've, I've killed, what, five targets? I'm down five canisters of ammunition. So that's kind of the trade-off. Um, this thing eats ammo. You're gonna need to bring a lot more of it. But good lord, does it kill things. There's another one, something out there in the middle. Yeah, so we basically got, what, 90 shells aboard, I think? Considering that we can fire, like, 16 bursts of 9, or 16 bursts of 5 shells. Oh, sorry, that's 80. <laughs> My bad. Um... Also, I got one of the guys over on the bow, port side, with a bazooka. 
I was wondering if that's going to be doing anything useful. Um, I haven't really received any conclusive evidence that it's a good choice or a bad one. So we'll just have to see what this guy can do. And I think especially against smaller targets like patrol boats, it's going to be fairly useful. Good lord, I can get used to this. Look at that, that's a triple kill. I'm gonna have to take down some more, let's say, smaller targets in order to get RP for this. Because I need more ammo than what I'm currently carrying. But you can sort of single-handedly, you don't even need a mortar, you just need to maneuver a bit. Take down base defenses and potentially allow for another invasion. Which I really like. But look at the ammo. We're down 4 for 16. That ought to be dead. Next. Gone. Jeez, we're really single-handedly rolling up the base. It's starting to feel a bit more like a destroyer at this point than a PT boat. Do they have some more over here? Yeah, there's something hiding over there in the bushes. I think we took down most of it. Also, I got no ammo left. <laughs> I think we're done here. I think we have done what we came here to do. The question is, do my allies agree? Are they confident enough for me to have taken down enough so that they can do their job of invading the place? Let's find out. The answer appears to be no. Uh, while Malapa went from 37 to uh, 21, so they did lose a whole bunch, they're still not exactly planning an invasion. Um, my guys over here are still bringing in more reinforcements to what seems to be the front line of Avu Avu. Uh, oh, there it is. Asamane going on the move towards Malapa. Right, we're gonna have to make an ammo run. And get some more ammunition ready for the fight that's coming. Ammunition resupplied. When's this fight happening? Recognized. Ah, great. So then now I'm here. Yep, they're fighting. They're fighting. Let's join the fighting. They got moderate base defenses and we have everything else. The only thing I'm seeing, however, is a couple of amphibious tanks. I'm not seeing landing boats. That's curious. Or, or maybe those are the Higgins boats. Yeah, I think the Higgins boats are landing boats. It's just that in the case of the Japanese, they call them landing boats. And I think these guys call them Higgins. Now, I wonder how much base defenses are left slash have potentially respawned. Because I believe it took down most of what was okay, well, what was on this shore. What else do we have? Yeah, we got loads and loads of friends. Which is good, because they can soak up the damage. Meaning that I have to don't have to do as much. Sadly, beyond really lending a hand with the Orlikan, there isn't that much that I can do. Meaning that um, my position over here is useful. But it will not really award me with a whole lot of RP. So it's not exactly going to be beneficial directly in the form of upgrading the boat. But, of course, the more territory you hold, the more bonuses you do get. The more territory income, if you will. It looks like the sub-chasers are going to just collide with the pier. Yeah. <laughs> nice driving. <laughs> <laughs> Good attempt, though. Oh, well. They definitely have a whole bunch of positions prepared here. Um, I'd rather not be the first one in. But the problem is mostly that the guys over here are, well, lacking some intelligence. There's one. Oh, they're using rockets, aren't they? Where's that flood? No, it's floodlights. They're using floodlights, that's it. Gone. Ow! That hurt. I think I lost a man. Let's go pick him back up. Where are you, dude? There. Thankfully, that took out most of the defenses. Come on. Welcome back. All right, places to be, base defenses to take out. I'm just not sure how much more there is. Because we've already cleared out a bunch at this base. It looks like even 
everybody else doesn't really have a whole lot of targets. So they might be coming around to my position to see what else there is out here for them to take down. And then we're going to have the Higgins boats and the amphibious tanks land. So potentially just taking out these defenses is already going to change the course of history, at least for this particular base. So that is going to be ours. There's another light battery, I suspect. Yep. As long as you jiggle the boat left and right a bit and don't get hit, the 40 cal or the, the Bofors can do a lot of damage. I think there's nothing else here. I'm seeing one little icon over there, but it appears to be in the middle of the island. Okay, so I guess we're done here. I wonder what we're going to see when we get back to the strategic map. How much have we taken out from this base? Wow. Yeah, they should have that. <laughs> they, they totally have that. Excellent. So that's done. Um, Apio could be next, but I kind of want to see what this thing can do against other smaller craft. There we go. Malapa has been captured. Beautiful. Let's resupply there immediately. Sadly, no free budget has been boosted, so it's not like I can immediately spend some of my newly gotten resources. Because I haven't gotten any new resources. Alright, I'm going to do a bit of hunting and see what I can dig up. As I'm hunting around for new things to raid, I happen to come upon our old base. I want it back. However, it seems like the Japanese don't feel quite that way. They have an amphibious force that they want to use against one of my other bases. Or it's the remainder of their amphibious force that actually hits this base. I'm not sure which one it is. What I am sure about is that we are not going to wait to find out. We're going to take the fight to them. I have upgraded the amount of ammunition that I have. I now have 24 canisters, pretty much as it used to be. I still only have the 1919 to deal with smaller targets, but I got the Bofors. So let's see exactly how deadly that thing is going to be against something that could very well just be moored. Because these guys, I seem to have caught completely unawares, which gives me an excellent opportunity to go on the offensive here and potentially sink most, if not all, of these things before they know what the hell is going on. The fact that there's only light base defenses could mean that there are none of those guns that have been shooting me for the past couple of rounds, you know, which actually give you a warning like, hey, I'm gonna shoot you here. Um, I hope that's the case, but we're gonna have to find out and see what sort of firepower they have. Seeing as it hasn't been leveled on me yet, I think it's not going to be that deadly. I think it's just a couple of these patrol boats and potentially landing craft, but I wouldn't quite know where the landing craft are. Unless, like, the landing craft are, what, moored here? That's not a landing craft. It does seem like the Bofors makes really quick work of these things. Now, the one thing I haven't quite encountered yet is a destroyer. And according to your comments so far, and that is after episode 2, uh, destroyers are very, very deadly. Keep in mind that I have uh, a 40mm Bofors on my stern. A destroyer is going to have most likely a 100mm or 127 or something in that range, depending on what exactly you happen to encounter. So it has a lot more firepower. Um, it potentially has armor, and I have uh, neither of those two things. So it is very likely that I'm going to have a pretty tough fight ahead. For now, though, I'm mostly wondering where are the torpedo boats? Sorry, where are the landing boats? And why am I not seeing those? Because we're just mopping up the base over here. But it's not giving me nearly as much resistance as I thought it would. Yeah, base raid's done. So where's the attack force? Look at that, Lunga is almost completely decimated. I was over here in Lunga to try and figure out where the attacking force going to Malaga happens to come from. Because it says uh, hostiles inbound. Sorry, Malapa, not Malaga. They're targeting Malapa, but the question is where? Where is it coming from? I think it's going to be either coming from here, here, or there. So Orki, Lunga, or Bolonda. 
Oh, Asamana is launching another assault on uh, Lunga. That's good. Uh, we're going to have to do a bit of patrolling here. Radar on to boost my visibility. Oh, there's the attacking force. Oh, hold on. Who exactly are you? This could be what I'm looking for. No, it's like a small attack force. Interesting. Okay, not the target, but a nice little snack for lunch. What the fuck? Well, that's refreshing. Why is there... Okay, I guess it's possible, but <laughs> it feels a little weird that we started in the forest. I don't know where the attacking force is, honestly. <clears throat> Let's give it a minute. These guys come over here. Oh, they're really close to the shoreline. That might be the problem. They're definitely getting pissed off about the fact that I'm here. Well, they're about to get a whole lot more pissed off when they find that their hulls are no longer as watertight as they once were. Let's put one of the other guys on the gun. I think this is going to be a pretty quick encounter. The only thing that they could try and do is swarm me. In which case, I might have to do a whole bunch of repairs on this boat. I do have some repair kits. But, well, repair kits are something that you generally don't have enough of. No matter how many you bring, you will always find a use for your repair kits, simply because you're playing the game a little aggressively. It's about to go hot. Yep. It's kind of what we're here for. Wow. That's one. Where the hell are you trying to aim that thing? I think another one's going to be flooding. Two. There were eight. But these guys are heavily split up. Three. Aircraft spot it. These guys are getting air support now. <clears throat> My life's about to get a bit more interesting. And I think we're about to see just how well that Bofors can do against aerial targets. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is what it was designed to fight. Hello, dude. Come and have a go. If you think you're hard enough, <laughs> you're not. Wow, I thought we were going to take it down like one hit. Would have been fantastic, but alas. Uh, this guy is up to no good. Come on. Yes! Another one down. That was the 19. Oh! <laughs> Where's your air support now? Where is your air support now? Well, there it is. Jesus. 10 out of 10 would get the Bofors again. Look at these guys. Not a chance. Gone. It's a good thing too because I just spent all my ammunition. But holy moly. This was good. This was really good. Did we get an ERP for it? Sadly not. Because it's not like a strategic target. Not like a tanker. But hey. Um... That was fun. Would definitely do it again. It seems like I didn't quite get all the offensive units going to Malapa. Um, fortunately, there is a heck of an allied defense going on here. Look at this. We have 122 points. They have eight. Eight attack points. We have my Higgins boat. Moderate base defenses. Tenders. Higgins boats. Um, not the same thing, by the way. Uh, we have the amphibious tanks. We have another six PT boats. We have submarine chasers. And they have these 12 units, including four landing boats. This is going to be a really, really, really bad day for the Japanese. Because, well, they may have some firepower, but they sure as hell don't have enough. Guys, man the guns. Especially the Ehrlichan, because it's Ehrlichan time. Um, it does seem like most of my defenses are moored. I do believe that I gave them some warning. Or at least I got the warning saying, hey, they're about to attack here. You might want to do something about it. Um, 
why exactly my PT boats are enjoying this fight, I can't quite explain. But if that's the way that we're going to go about it, that's fine. I'll just do all the fighting myself, seeing as I now can. I mean, that was four targets. These are landing boats. They're really slow. So potentially these are the last really, let's say, more dangerous units. Um, in which case you could make the case, are they that dangerous? Arguably not. Not anymore, anyway. Because even though I do take damage, it doesn't seem to be that dire. It doesn't seem like I'm taking tons and tons and tons of damage. Look at that. That was the rest of the base defenses. Potentially these more tenders. Like, they've got crew and everything. Why are they not moving? That's a little weird. You'd expect these guys to make an effort trying to get out of the docks. Take the fight to the enemy instead of just sitting there waiting for these guys to come into range. But okay. I just... Uh I'll do the work for them. Oh, there we go. Now the base defenses are definitely opening up. Landing boat down. And can you imagine that you can get, like, a double bofers? It's going to be a lot more expensive. And you'll definitely have to feed the beast somehow. But, yeah. You can get a double barrel. And I can't wait to get one. Fortunately... Unfortunately, that'll be a way off. Um, I believe this thing cost me, what, like 8k? 40? Yeah, 8k. The dual one is 20,000. So that's a lot. Um, the meat chopper might be interesting. I think this, however, does more damage and has greater draft, so I can reach the enemy base defenses from afar. This might not be able to do that. And while it has a 2,000 rounds per minute rate of fire, it only has 12 damage. This thing has 200, so a tenth. But it does do like six times, seven times the damage, which is nice. Now, arguably, that does mean that this thing has better DPS. It also has zero reload. That's impressive. Um, I'm, for now, I'm going to stick to the Bofors. Also, because I don't have another 4,000 resource, uh, sorry, resource points. So, uh, Bofors, overall opinion? Phenomenal weapon system on this BT boat. I would definitely... <laughs> Definitely like to have gotten this sooner, but um, I like the fact that you kind of have to work your way up towards it. And now that you have it, oh boy, it is a beauty, and I can't wait to use more. So that was Boat Crew for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Bofors. Um, there are various other weapons that I still want to try out. I mean, I do want to get the Duel at some point, but we also have not tried the Rocket Launchers, and we haven't tried the Torpedoes yet. Well, that's not strictly true. We've tried the uh, Mark 13s. We have not tried the Guidance Torpedoes, the Acoustic Guidance. And keep in mind, these things do 15, these do 18. Um, and then you got Torps that do, I think, 25k, was it? Yeah, 25k, the Mark 8. That's a really big blast. And they're not even that expensive. But that is for a future episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon for more.